Hello there! Welcome to No Call! Today, I'm Sophia going to introduce you how to use No Call software. And let's start it now! Here's our main interface. It's really simple to use. I'm going to write mine login. We just log it in. We can resize, make it bigger. What can you do here? You can create new room quickly. Hi. <laughs> and also shadow, join the class and see the tasks, etc. Here we can see the calendar. Uh, if you have the room ID, enter and join the class. Before the class, if you need to prepare for your classes, you can experience the room. We are able to see our calendar here. If I have the classes, my classes will be seen like this. Okay, create new room. This is our main, main interface. If you see this kind of ID, you can just click here. The numbers are copied. You can just paste and send it to your students. Or click just invite is also fine. I'm a teacher right now, so I'm just going to start. And I don't need the recording right now. That's why I'm going to click later. The first thing that I need to tell you, we can change our backgrounds, our blackboard, whatever picture that you want. For example, blackboard simulation. Here, uh, the sitting area, we can change the view, one row view, and uh, here's the height, everything. Show again, change view to normal. If you'd like to do some debate or role playing with student, just click twice and the student will be on the blackboard. You can resize wherever size you want and uh, just double click, the student will back to the seat. Here's a reward and it can mute also. And this is on stage or back to the seat also. Last one is a private chat. Okay, let me start from the left sidebar. Here's a basic cursor, the next is select or just the move and the next one is a brush. You can draw everything that you want and you can choose the shape and the thickness of the shape. For example, I'm going to just choose the line and the thickness, it, it's like this and I can choose the color, whatever color that I want. And the most favorite mine is a highlighter. Okay, let me text something in the first. For example, hello world. And I'm going to choose the highlighter. And I can highlight like this. Next is the text. Also can choose the size and the color. If you need that student draw or text something on the blackboard just to do interactive stuff. So don't forget to authorize the student. This is the third button here. The next is picture. If you have the pictures from your gallery, using your phone can just open your camera and scan this QR code. After that, you can upload whatever pictures from your phone to this blackboard or just upload from your local memory. It means just from your PC. And the next is eraser. Just erase. Clear. Uh, if you see here, we have 100 pages of the blackboard. 
clear, it means the clear the whole page, but not 100 pages. The page I open it right now. Yep, and it's all cleared up. The next is laser. So we have undo and redo. Let's go to the next. This is audio and the video, and we also have some small buttons here. It's just the settings. Okay, the next is cloud. Let me show you. Here we have two spaces. The first one is the institution space, and the second one is the, your personal space. We can upload from the computer and create some folder. And maybe delete or move, copy, rename the folders. Here I've already uploaded the PPT file. Uh, let me show you. I can click this button to do the full size of the PPT. Before this, I've told you we can use the laser to show, for example, this is logo, this is blah blah blah. Or close. If you need upload new stuff, just click, choose the file, material, for example, course material that you need during the class, choose and open. That will be in your personal space. Close. This is tools. Uh, I will talk about this really quickly. And we have a lot of interactive tools that we can use during the class to interact with students. The first one, for example, timer, I can set up. Uh, here's the timer. After five minutes, we can hear some like sounds because the time is already up. And the next tool is stopwatch. It's just kind of same with timer but it's counting five to infinity and the next is responder you can choose uh, how many answers do you have next is quiz for example i have the question uh, the maximum of the question is 20 uh, for example i have three questions to my students and I've already have the right answer, D, C, B. When I click the start answering, the students can see this kind of stuff. I can just set the answer. And after that, I need to click the finish. Here, if I have the students, we can see the name of students. We can reward all correct or just participated. Let me end this. Okay, go to next. A board, that means answering board. It's really great tool for students to do with them interactive some. Uh, when I click open, their students can see in their blackboard this mini blackboard and while they are drawing or like texting something i can see them their names here and i can see what are they doing right now and also when i click collect a board are going to stop confirm the next is dice I like the dice, really great to use during the games, <laughs> debates, etc. The next is race. Raise hand. If the student know the answer or just need to ask something um, from the teacher, they can raise their hand and we able to see this kind of stuff. For example, if I need this student on the stage, just click and he will be on the blackboard. And here the mute all, control, you can authorize all the students or reward. 
and this is the important part for teachers roster here i'm able to see the whole information about students i can make the student co-host and he have a lot of permissions as like a teacher the next is chat we can write everything we can upload pictures emojis and if there is a really important announcement we can write first the test release see their important announcement here and the next is mute it means nobody can chat here except the teacher the next is record uh, share screen snapshot or invite the students let me quick talk about these two stuff grid layout we can also hide the video or we can downstage all of the students and the first one you can find recently opened files or tools here for example let me open the one tool timer first, and i can go here the tools are opened here timer and the file is new call and blackboard is this that's everything that i want to talk to you guys thank you for watching and bye if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact us bye